Welcome to Pogle Park and the campus of the University of Arkansas. The middle game of a three game series between Missouri and the number six ranked Razorbacks, her highest ranking ever. But when the game's on the line, she definitely wants to have her up. She knows what she's capable of. See a nice swing. That sends that one opposite field power and it just goes over the wall. Yes, indeed. Kayla Kessinger has power and she gets Missouri out to a lead. 3-1 count for Kayla. And on senior day, Kayla Green leaves the yard. Arkansas ties it up with one swing. Why they don't steal? She says, you know, I would rather have people on for these big hitters. Rick Wilma sends one in the gap all the way to the wall. Lead off double in the third. Back elbow to front knee. There. Back to back base hits. Runners on the corners now. Patty struck out looking in her first at bat. First pitch swinging. Huffine. And then he turned the double play. Huffine the burn side he threw over. And that's two, but don't forget that scores a run. And so Missouri able to plate one even though the double play was turned. Jordan Weber has thrown 61 innings. And so that shows you the, the staff for this team and a spectacular catch. Out and left, Cassidy Shomo doing it all. In the outfield, you've got to make sure that your first step is correct. Shomo recognizes that that is sharply hit, so not only does she take a great first step towards the line, but also a perfect angle to be able to get that dive in the catch. And two again. Got her. McEwen went upstairs and couldn't get Pring's pitch. Also available on the ESPN app. So you can watch it on the go. That ball is going and gone. Kendall Bailey just clears the left field wall. She had a home run in game one and now a home run in game two. Talk about a streak. Leave it by Green to strike her out. To hit on. Manzo. Shomo. Shomo flashing the leather again in left field to retire the side. Getting this program back on track. Another ball stung into the left field corner. That's foul, or to be fair, McEwen could not catch up to it as it hit the wall. It was so fun to see the dynamic energy she was able to bring in the dugout. They were 19 and seven when the season was shut down and that throw pulled Gibson off the bag. Both Kessinger and McGivern are safe, so runners on the corners with one away. Robbie, first pitch swinging, sends in another run. Missouri showing you don't have to hit home runs to score runs, so with runners on the corner able to just get this one to the grass, Great piece of hitting with a runner in scoring position. Right up the middle. Mint held at third. And the bases are loaded now. Wilmis sends it into center field. Torres goes back and it's a grand slam. Brooke Wilmis with the big shot for the Tigers. What a hit by Brooke Wilmis. You know, Pam, earlier this year, she had a grand slam against Western Illinois that was a walk-off. Well, check this one out. She said that her teammates on travel ball got offers, but not her. Ended up at Arkansas. She goes down swinging. Nice play, another diving catch by the Tigers, this time Kendall Bailey. Greeted with the base hit by Hattie Moore to start off the seventh. Being very cautious with her. Wirt sends it to the wall and it goes over. McEwen drifting back, looked like she had a play, but it's another home run for Missouri. Beautiful rise ball over the bat. Yeah. And Green. Goes down. Five this afternoon. Bailey ends it. 
an impressive performance by Lauren Krings. The freshman comes in, shuts the door down on Arkansas, Missouri, powered by four home runs, including a grand slam, wins this game.